yesterday start tomorrow the nation will celebrate its 27th independence day and on this occasion i have a great pleasure in offering my warm greetings to my fellow citizen in india and abroad the day reminds us of the pledge we took the promises we made and the performances so far achieved to give to our people a better and fuller life we have worked hard all these years to end poverty ignorance and disease among the vast millions of our population our aim has been the establishment of a society in which there will be equality of opportunity for all citizens irrespective of caste or color in our efforts towards the attainment of our national goals we have chosen the democratic method as the only path to real progress i would like to lay the greatest emphasis here on the observance of self discipline at all levels the most important sanction behind a democratic form of government is the confidence which the people have in it it should be the constant endeavor of those placed in power to retain this confidence the political developments that were witnessed in some states recently are not conducive to stable government in our system governments are chosen by a mandate from the people this mandate cannot be utilized to suit personal ambitions or for gaining selfish ends we have been confronted in recent months by a drought which has thrown millions of our people into distress and near famine conditions in all parts of the country we are trying to meet this situation several steps have been taken to remove the distress and to reduce the sufferings of the people currently the monsoon has been good and there is fair prospect of a good crop in our country where agriculture depends mainly on the monsoon relative periods of scarcity and abundance are inevitable but this only emphasizes the need to observe more and more prudence in the utilization of our resources this is more important as far as the essential commodities for the day to day life of the community are concerned i feel deeply concerned that some people take advantage of situations of this kind and resort to anti social acts such people i have no hesitation in saying should be branded as enemies of society and punished under the most stringent provisions of law procurement of food grains by government was undertaken in order that the state could ensure equitable distribution covering the entire population we have also to build up a ready stock to provide for an emergency all officials and others interested with the work of procurement and distribution should carry out the task assigned to them with dedication and without fear or favor the successful implementation of this program is vital to the life of the community every citizen is entitled to get his requirement of food and other essential articles of daily use at a reasonable price and the state has the special duty to ensure that the poorest receives adequate protection